All right, guys, shooting a vlog today. We're gonna go to Ortega Highway and cruise a little bit. Tim's gonna take his bike, and then I'm taking this bad boy, which I can't clean because of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just lazy to duct tape it. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go grab some gas. What the? We're gonna grab some gas and then some donuts and then head over there. And Tim just got a one-piece suit he's gonna try out. All right, Tim's unplugging his electric bike. He had it charging overnight. <laughs> so Tim just got some fresh little rubber back here. Not for long. He's gonna do a couple burners <laughs> on a fresh tire. But yeah, he's taking out this beast. And I'm taking this. This is the suit Tim just picked up, one piece. Alpine stars with some fresh knee pucks. The guy hasn't touched knee that he got it from. But that's going to change today. From 1932. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so we're about to head out. I got my GoPro back here. I'm not gonna turn it on until we get there. And then Tim has his GoPro set up too. On the back, that's the only place his bike came with a mount. He's gonna try out that angle and then try out some more when he gets some testing done. Yep. Look at that smoke visor or mirror. Ooh, who's that beast in the reflection? <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna head out right now. And side note, I'm gonna do a separate video that's like a cinematic edit and that'll come out a few more days than this one because it's going to take some time to edit but this is just a vlog and then I'll do the cool edit in a separate video. All right, guys, so we're up here at the top above the carousel. I'm just chilling here waiting uh, for Tim to come back. He's doing a couple runs down there, and I'm just letting the Miata chill for a bit because uh, I was running it pretty hard up and down the mountain. But yeah, there's tons of bikes, as you can hear. There's a bunch of bikes here, and everyone's going pretty fast. It's pretty sick. Here's Tim right here. up here guys I got my camera I got the Miata parked on the side right there looking at this view getting some cinematics real quick uh, sorry I haven't got as much footage as I should well I guess I shouldn't be saying sorry because I'm about to get it right now but I was just going up and down having so much fun it's a blast here but now it's time to get some footage of the bikes and stuff maybe we'll see some cool cars I was chasing down an R Audi R8 uh, V10 earlier uh, not chasing them down you know I was getting left in the dust but it was pretty fun running that and uh, it's just super fun and let's get some shots <laughs>
just finished up guys we've been chilling at the candy store met a couple guys over here really cool people and burned through a ton of gas going up and down this thing it was super fun so i'm gonna grab some gas on the way home tim's gonna grab some gas and then we are gonna head home and i'll tell you more about my thoughts when i get home So you guys, I just got back from running the Miata out there, and it was super fun. One thing I will say though, is when you're on the streets, uh, the Miata sometimes does feel like it has a lack of power, you know, running stoplight to stoplight. I uh, wish you had a little bit more power to get a little bit more fun. But once you get out there to those twisties, and you start opening it up, and you're always on the power band, you really kind of forget that you need more power. You know, you're focusing on enjoying the drive, enjoying the suspension, just working the turns, using momentum to get through the turns, and you really do forget you know the lack of power in the Miata and I will say that was just a super awesome experience there's not once when I was out there was like wow I need more power to get through this uh, I was more I need more driving skill I need to enter do a better entry you know hit the apex a little bit better and I could get through this corner faster not really worried about the power it was more my driving skills and you know maybe the suspension a little bit one thing I will say is those record coilovers I have on there as you guys know they're cheaper really cheap basically the bottom of the barrel they're like a sister company to raceland those you know could definitely use an important uh <clears throat> an improvement uh, i'd rather get something a lot nicer maybe like some fortunatos or you know some olens but <laughs> I'd, I'd have trouble putting olens like that on a car that old uh just wouldn't make sense to me at the moment uh maybe later in the future you know I'll bust like a, a tommy f yeah and go all in on the build uh he's doing a super cool k24 miata build here soon which is really awesome uh if you guys don't watch him go check him out he does some really cool OEM level stuff and I really do like his videos and builds and one thing I will say is at this point I'd rather spend my money on gas to go drive the Miata and or maintenance to keep the Miata running smoothly than modding <clears throat> you know I could spend like a hundred dollars on a hardtop spoiler or I could spend a hundred dollars in gas and get four like trips down a super cool twisty road here in Southern California we have lots you know <clears throat> I'm in Orange County so you go up to LA there's good roads up there uh, even in Orange County we have a few down here like Ortega Highway and if you go down south to San Diego there's also some down there that I've been to out in the uh, mountains and Palomar and that kind of stuff so there's all kinds of super awesome roads around me and I'd rather just use you know the leftover money I do have for gas to go adventure places like that and actually just get some more driving time in the car and enjoy the car instead of worrying about what to mod next uh, maybe I'll make a more detailed video about this just as a topic of cars but yeah the Miata did super well no problems no overheating uh, shifted smooth and everything and I was just enjoying the enjoying the time out there running it you know at a safe level not going crazy because you know it's not a racetrack but I was just enjoying the drive enjoying the car uh, I did keep the hardtop on I, li I like driving with the hardtop I'm not really much of a convertible kind of guy uh, I just occasionally take off the top but for then I, I like the hardtop it feels like cockpit like so just enjoying it out there. It was a nice day in Southern California. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. We actually got out and drove the Miata for once in a video instead of talking about it. So leave a like if you did enjoy that. And one thing I do urge you guys to do, check out my website. I'll put in the description to buy a driving purity sticker. Uh, we have an updated one of this that looks better with a retro piston for sale for $2.99 free shipping in the U.S. So uh, go ahead and check that out, guys. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. I've been keeping up with the weekly uploads. Uh, this is the second or third week i think but i got some more content planned and the cinematic will be coming probably in two days uh tomorrow or the next day i'd say uh if you're watching this uh later it's probably already up so go check it out it'll be the next video on my channel and uh working on editing this video right now and i'm gonna finish that cinematic so i'll see you guys later